Well, I'm not a <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, members of the media. <coughs> Since my last uh, update on Fiji's recovery from Cyclone Herald and COVID-19, we've made uh, great progress in both fronts. Assistance has made its way uh, to the hardest hit areas across Fiji with thousands of uh, food ration packs and other supplies being delivered to even the most remote countries, uh, remote corners of the country. And our on-the-ground assessment of uh, uh, Tropical Cyclone Herald's uh, devastation is showing just how hard hit some of these communities and islands are. NDMO's uh, latest survey now shows that 635 homes across the country were destroyed by the storm, with over 2,100 uh, suffering damage. Under our Rural uh, Housing Assistance Program, the Ministry of Housing and Community Development is working to provide relief to uh, high-need households as uh, quickly as possible. As has been the case of uh, previous uh, cyclones, we will be subsidizing the cost of government-procured building materials for eligible uh, households, those making less than 15,000 a year uh, on a one-third, two-thirds basis. <coughs> Excuse me. Alternately, this, uh, those applying for assistance <coughs> can cover the cost of all building materials, but pay more affordable rates thanks to government uh, bulk buying, and then have those uh, discounted materials delivered to them with all shipping costs covered even in our most remote maritime communities. Trees felled by the cyclone are also being uh, repurposed into timber that will be provided free of charge for impacted homes by the Ministry of Forestry. For anyone benefiting from this program who cannot secure carpenters of their own, the Ministry of Housing and Community Development's carpentry team, assisted by the Public Rental Board, will be provided free of charge for repairs and reconstruction. They will also be assisting with building plans to ensure the new homes are, are cyclone uh, resilient, and they'll also be carrying out site inspections to keep everything up to standard. But as we uh, rebuild from this storm, we are seeing a rise in illnesses that have uh, the potential to prove deadlier than the storm itself. Those thrive in uh, in the wet uh, environments left behind by tropical cyclones. That's why the Ministry of Health is now launching a door-to-door -door, door -door campaign uh, combat, sorry, door-to-door -door campaign to combat LTDD, uh, leptospirosis, uh, ty typhoid, dengue, and diarrhea. So while uh, coronavirus will dominate uh, headlines, we also need to stay alert, alert sorry, Stay alert for of these other ailments as they can also kill. But unlike COVID-19, we've dealt with these challenges before. And experience has taught us that public cooperation is critical to keeping Fijians healthy. That's why if an uh, official from the Ministry of Health visits your door to door, door to door to check for symptoms, we need to remain as uh, diligent as we have during our nationwide COVID screening efforts. This said, ladies and gentlemen, coronavirus is still public uh, enemy number one. And I'm sure uh, it's what is on top of uh, all your minds today. Since it's Monday, uh, the 20th of April, we've tested 114 more samples for COVID-19. 114 more samples and all have returned negative. Meaning that again, we have zero new cases to report. Our health uh, screening effort in Ba is uh, progressing extremely well. Nationwide, we've restocked with thousands of COVID-19 tests, a step critical to boosting confidence in the success of our containment efforts. Since our first uh, cases we've confirmed in, uh, were confirmed in Fiji, the first question I've asked our health team in our morning COVID-19 briefings has been the same. How are our patients? And for weeks, the answer has remained the same. 
they are in stable condition. While this was always uh, welcome news, it still uh, left me and all Fijians anxious about uh, uh, for their well-being. Only in the past few days have our patients uh, begun finally testing negative for the virus. Today, uh, I'm grateful to announce that 10 out of 18 patients have made uh, full recoveries from the virus. So now, there are eight active cases of COVID-19 confirmed in Fiji, meaning that uh, for the first time, more Fijians have recovered than are currently still living with the virus. Our nation has prayed for these recoveries. Our healthcare heroes have provided the weeks of uh, caregiving it's uh, taken to heal these Fijians and given the vast unknowns surrounding coronavirus, we are all grateful to see them cleared uh, to leave isolation. I applaud every Fijian responsible for aiding these recoveries and delivering us this beacon of hope. But as uh, relieved as we all are, we must still reckon with some sobering realities. No confirmed uh, case of coronavirus in Fiji has been in a person over the age of 65. Most of our patients have had no underlying health conditions. We know that these factors, age and health, are directly linked to a person's uh, chances of survival. My point is in Fiji, so far, we have been blessed by uh, demographics, and more vulnerable Fijians have been spared. But if we lull ourselves into uh, complacency, that would all to tragically change. Across the world, over 186,000 lives have been lost to this virus. Every day, uh, tens of thousands more add to the total. We cannot allow Fiji to fall victim to the same fate. We've all seen a seven-a-side team, after a comfortable uh, half-time lead, go on to lose the game because they got cocky, let their guard down, and failed to see victory through to its uh, end. Well, the stakes of this virus are far higher than the rugby match. They are life or death. And I've said many times before, we are at war with COVID-19. We must stay uh, vigilant. We must stay uh, disciplined. We must keep ourselves one step ahead of this killer virus. If we keep this course, we will be able to confidently rank ourselves among the nations leading the world in stomping out coronavirus. Our success so far leaves us reason for cautious uh, optimism. We have isolated every close contact of every case of the virus in our country. A world-leading feat. Of the over 900 uh, samples we've tested in Fiji, only 2% have returned positive, compared from up to 19% or even higher in harder-hit uh, countries. Every decision we have uh, made has been informed uh, by the best available science and the direction of our medical experts. And our adherence to health advice will continue to guide every step we take. Operating uh, with caution and armed with good information, we have identified a few uh, safe ways we can return some measure of normalcy to our society. But it's important we match uh, any relaxation of health protection directives with greater diligence in our day-to-day -day lives. That is why I'm declaring this uh, weekend as Fiji's weekend of readiness and responsibility. Through the weekend, we need to see Fijians take uh, greater ownership of our containment measures. As we see that happen, we plan to gradually scale back a handful of our health protection measures. From the evening of uh, Saturday, tomorrow, 25th of April, the nationwide curfew will begin at 10 p.m and go until 5 a.m. From Sunday, the 26th of April, we will resume all passenger inter-island travel by air and sea. And from Monday, the 27th of April, we will allow social gatherings of 20 people or fewer. 
nightclubs, swimming pools, cinemas and gyms will all continue to remain closed. Houses of worship as well will remain closed until further notice. Our schools will remain closed as well until the 12th of June 2020. Our weekend of readiness and responsibility starts with our LTDD uh, campaign. Every Fijian should spend this weekend tracking down breeding grounds for mosquitoes. Empty out containers, tires or rubbish uh, that hold water. And if medical teams conduct screening in your area, please cooperate. From Sunday, uh, Sunday morning as inter-island travel resumes, all transportation vehicles, whether that's taxis, minibuses, buses, boats, or planes, are encouraged to provide hand sanitizers to passengers upon boarding. And members of the public are encouraged to wear masks while traveling. Through the weekend, <coughs> all of our advice remains in effect. Fiscal distancing of uh, two meters should be maintained at all times. Do not share cigarettes or takis on billows during grog sessions. Limit unnecessary person-to-person -person contact as much as humanly possible. And as uh, health screening efforts continue across the country, all Fijians should cooperate with our medical teams for the few uh, easy minutes it takes to be screened, whether that's for LTDDs or COVID-19. Through the weekend, our coronavirus uh, testing will press ahead. Even if, uh, if even uh, uh, one new case is detected, our most stringent health protection measures will snap right back into place. As we see some of our restrictions lifted, it's vital the Fijian public go about their lives responsibly in ways that do not compromise the practice of physical distancing and put Fijian lives at risk. If we do, I'm confident we can welcome back these freedoms without giving ground in the campaign against this virus. God bless you all. God bless Fiji.